Hey there, welcome to Current Kick. Billy here, finally with a new mini video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm closing in on 500 subs and you guys are just awesome. Thank you for watching, so let's get there. Anyways, I wound up getting the Kill Team Octarius box because the entire set looks amazing. Even if the Compendium teams were kind of lame, I wanted to get as much out of these Krieg models as possible since your Krieg roster can include 20 units. In this video, we'll review how I use the remaining leftover bits to create 10 more minis. Let's first look at the 10 I built. These are fully built from the included sprues. I went through the build pamphlet and chose the unique option. Some include two, some three, and the 10th option is just a normal trooper veteran. I basically chose the third pink option on all except the first, which is the sergeant veteran. Next, the sniper veteran. For the third, I chose the spotter over the medic since there's a second medic option later on. Gunner veteran with a flamethrower. Here is that second medic option. Comms veteran. Zealot, Bruiser, Hardened, and last but not least, the Trooper Veteran. Now, I was left with quite a few bits left over. I went through and cut out and separated the bits into baggies based on the options. I used a combination of a couple sprues I bought off eBay and some sprues and bits that I had left over in the old bits box. First up, War Games Atlantic, Les Grognards from Deathfields. They're a fantastic replacement, especially the bodies, which are very similar to the Krieg trench coats. They even come with a bunch of gas mask heads in addition to whatever those are. I wound up having a few Krieg heads left over, and the rest came from actually a Kromlech chem trooper heads that I found in my bits box, which I believe I bought back from the 2018 kill team to make a bunch of Cadians into sort of Krieg inspired troopers. So win-win for me. All arms and weapons are Krieg and only one or two needed some green stuff for cutting and fitting. Most fit well enough as is, which was nice. Here's a confident veteran I built out of all three, body of grognards, cromlack head, and Krieg and arm backpacks. Next bodies were from a different set, Spiral Arm Studios, Maelstrom's Edge. These are sprues called Broken Infantry, which I actually have a video on here if you want to check them out. These options really are more scavenger, space bandit types, but there were a few with trench coat bodies in the kit that worked well. The bodies are in two pieces, uh, an upper and lower torso, and similar with the War Games Atlantic kit, I used a mixture of Krieg and Kromlech heads, Krieg and Grognard's backpacks, all arms and weapons are Krieg. I believe these fit without any green stuff or cutting, which was really nice. Here is a painted trooper veteran. I think he came out pretty well. Now here we see one of each painted up. They're mostly done. I have a little touching up and a few more details to add now that I'm looking at the video, which whenever you look up close at these minis, you miss something. But honestly, I think it came out pretty awesome. Yes, the Kromlech heads look a little bit more cartoony compared to the Krieg. I would have preferred to use all Krieg heads, but I had these extra gas masks to use, so I wanted to use them. I also could have made those connecting gas mask tubes that the Krieg have out of green stuff, but that would have required a lot more work. And this was pretty much the first time I really did any sort of kit bash. And this took about a week to build all these, clean them, prime them, and paint three. So I'm just happy the way they turned out. I really like them. One last note, I had bought a sprue of War Games Atlantic German Infantry because I read that they were a great way to make more Krieg. But, well, be warned, they are tiny at 28 millimeters compared to the Games Workshop models and basically everything else I've mentioned as they are a mixture between 28 millimeter heroic or 32 millimeter. You might be able to use their gas mask heads and maybe some of the weapons in kit bashing, but the bodies are tiny. Now I have to say I had way more fun painting up these three Krieg models than I had imagined. A lot more than painting up Space Marines. Honestly, I could build a whole army of these and I think I'd have a lot of fun. There's something to say about painting up in a bit of an assembly line. Painting a bunch of completely unique models as I did in my Stargrave series kind of burnt me out because you really can only do one at a time and it really takes forever to paint up 20, 30 minis. So I only did about 10 to 15 of them before I kind of burnt out and took a break. But I rattled these Death Boys off in two painting sessions and there'll be a third with a couple little touch-ups, but I'm just really pumped on how they finished up and I can't wait to paint the rest of the crew. I hope this video can help you get the most out of your extra Creek sprues. If you have any other kit bash ideas, please let me know in the comments. After these, I'll probably go back and paint up some more minis for Stargraves or maybe Rain in Hell as they both now have their solo supplements out. I guess you can see that I'm a bit more of a collector and painter than a player, but I'm finally going to start getting some games in. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more mini and skirmish game videos in the future, as well as board and video games as I've been playing a lot of those lately. Until next time, see you guys later.